What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. Today's video, we're talking about Mitch Kupchak um, getting up out of Charlotte, uh, Miles Bridges getting that extension, some other things. Let's go. AB the Hero, back at it, baby. Yo, appreciate y'all rocking with the boy, hitting the like button. Um, past couple days, man, I had so much content that I wanted to drop out. We haven't gotten to it. So we're going, the like, next two days, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, all right, here's an article from Jake Fisher. And in this article, he's really talking about mostly the um, the future of Mitch Kupchak, right? So I think with if you've been following the Hornets the majority of the season, a lot of the conversation when it comes to folks losing their job, or you know what I mean, having to find some other uh, employment, that conversation has been around James Borrego. In this article, um, they talk about how actually it's Mitch Kupchak who is probably the one on the hot seat. Um, Mitch Kupchak and James Borrego joined the Charlotte Hornets at the same time, 2018, I believe it was, um, four or so years ago. And so they've been rocking the same amount of time, same deal, four-year deal, but before this season, James Borrego signed a multi-year extension. They did not offer one to Mitch Kupchak. Somebody, similar situation, um, they did not offer um, that multi-year, or they didn't offer the right money to my boy Miles Bridges. They tried to sign him for more. We'll talk about that later. So basically, the author of this article is saying that Kupchak is on the chopping block depending on how the season goes because he's somebody who they obviously didn't extend right if they were going to extend him um then that mean that they kind of believe in him a bit and if they didn't they didn't offer that opportunity to him that mean they probably going to do something else now the ideal is maybe that he's not just completely fired maybe he move on to a more consulting role or some and somebody else step in there and take over for him as far as general manager is concerned now, for me, I think that there is just too much of an obvious glaring weakness for this Hornets team that um, that it's pinned to me on the general manager. You got to pin the tail on the donkey. You got to pin that on the general manager. Everybody who watches this team dating back to last year has said, yo, y'all need some bigs to play defense, right? Not just you. Obviously, you needed some who can offensively get the ball and and catch and then score and all of that stuff. That that check box was checked double time with Mason Plumley and and Montrez Harrell. But it is the paint. It's been obvious. Melo has said it several different times. We need a big. We need somebody in the paint. We need somebody in the paint. We need somebody in the paint who can stop. Um, and so we did not get that from um, uh, Mitch Kupchak at any point over the last two seasons. And this, because this is the issue that should have been, this is not like a new thing. Um, even the, the all-star break, the trade deadline, all of that stuff, we did get the big man in Harold, but we did not get um, the big man in and uh and that we needed a rim protector right the miles turners or somebody like that another thing that's huge on uh i would think it's probably a knock against uh your man mitch um cup check here is this right here all right uh miles bridges last year um the hornets extended miles bridges a contract four years 60 million dollars right that's about 15 million a year if my math serves me correct, um, he turned that down. He wanted more money. He wanted, I, I, I believe, over a hundred million. Um, Miles Bridges came back, bid on himself, and now he's expected to be able to command the maximum salary, um, total five years, one hundred and seventy-three million. Um, and, and, and Miles Bridges just showed you if, if betting on yourself was a person, that's who he is, right? So um, the Hornets are expected to match any offer sheet that comes in with Miles Bridges, right? And why this falls back on Mitch Kupchak is because. 
last year my man wasn't asking for the max he was asking for them dollars now but he went from scoring 12 points a game to 30 points a game and that's a big deal that falls on him um uh there's a lot more to read in this article about uh whether or not um you know mitch cup checked or who should be moved on um, a lot of folks think that james borrego potentially is safe um really depends on this playing game and how things turn out um to me on, on who really really is safe and who really really gotta go but um that's what i got for y'all we'll tap back in um uh, after the playing game and we'll we'll kind of give those details and have that conversation as well shamay man abd hero we out no not peace plus one triple b's we out